Now let's finish up our examples here. Um, take that negative one fourth through, so negative one fourth times four thirds, end up getting a negative four twelfths. Um, five times negative one fourth is y to the negative five fourths. Sixteen to the negative one fourth is sixteen to the negative one fourth, and z to the half. Uh, to negative one fourth is negative eight. So what we can do is all the negative exponents. Let's just flip them around. That's what I did here. Sixteen to the negative one fourth, I moved up. Z to the negative one eighth, I moved up. X to the negative four twelfths, I moved down. Uh, y to the negative five fourths, I moved down. And really, what the problem is is this right here. So um, it's improper. Let's change it into a mixed number. It goes in one time with a remainder of one fourth. So uh, I get y to the 1 and y to the 1 fourth. And can you think of four numbers that multiply together to give you 16? Yep, 2, right? So this turns into a 2. And on the bottom, this turns into a y to the first power and y to the 1 fourth. Well, I need to get rid of these fractions on the bottom. That's the problem. So now there's two different ones, which means I need to get rid of both of them, not just one of them. So 4 twelfths plus something gives you a whole. What do you think that something is? Well, um, 8 twelfths, but I guess we are uh, jumping the gun to uh, the y first. So we'll come back to the x's. Um, so let's look at the y's. y the 1 fourth plus something gives you a whole. And what do you think that something is? 3 fourths, right? 1 fourth and 3 fourths gives you one whole. So I'm going to multiply by y to the 3 fourths on the top and the bottom. And when I do that, I end up with one whole y now plus the other whole y that I had from before. So we end up with the y squared on the bottom. But we have to now get rid of that 4 twelfths. So to get rid of that 4 twelfths on the bottom, what makes a whole? 4 twelfths plus something makes a whole, and that happens to be 8 twelfths. So I multiply by 8 twelfths on both the top and the bottom. So when I do that, I now have a 2, z to the 1 eighth, y to the 3 fourths, and x to the 8 twelfths. I have now a whole x on the bottom and a y squared on the bottom. So here's the problem. None of these can be put underneath a root that's the same because they're all different. This one has an eighth, a fourth, and a twelfth. So what can I, you know, how can I make them all have the same denominator? So if I multiply that one by three, that one by six, and that one by two, I can make them all have the denominator of twenty-four. So I get z to the uh, two, z to the three, twenty-fourths, y to the eighteen, twenty-fourths, and x to the sixteen, twenty-fourths. Now that they all have the same root, I can pull that one twenty-fourth out of all of them and take it all to the 24th root. Because remember, you can't put everything under the same root unless they have the same uh, root there. And last here, um, I'm going to use the parentheses here and go through first. So that's 2 to the 3rd, x to the 6th, that's 2 to the 7th, and x to the 14th. I combined everything, that's 2 to the 10th, and that is x to the 20th, and I have a fifth root. So what I can do now is, before simplifying, why don't I take each of those to the one-fifth power. So 10 times a fifth is 10 fifths. 20 times a fifth is 20 fifths. And luckily enough, this simplifies. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. 2 squared is 4x to the fourth. And there are your examples. If you have any other questions or concerns, I'm sorry about some of the mix-up there. I tried to fix um, them as I went. Um, so they are all the right answers now, but if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to let me know.